Hello everyone, I am Bing Yang Ling, a senior research engineer in IOTA Foundation. The paper title I am going to present is Robustness of the Tango 2.0 Consensus. This is a joint work with many people in our foundation, including Daria, Piotr, Andreas, and Sebastian. First, I would like to introduce the objectives of the IOTA 2.0 protocol, as listed on this slide. Permissionless means that users do not require permission to use our protocol. Also, there is no minimal stack requirement, and access should be fair for both small and big players. The scalability means that we want to allow a large number of nodes while the throughput is still high and confirmation is fast. Energy efficiency means that we want to remove proof of work as much as possible. Security means we need to guarantee liveness and safety, even if they are adversaries. In this protocol, we achieve security by using probabilistic consensus. Finally, we want to ensure fast confirmation and pro progression of the ledger state. Then, let's first compare the difference between the blockchain and the Tango, and introduce the approval weight mechanism. This mechanism used to achieve the objectives of our protocol. The Tango data structure is a directed acyclic graph, which we call DAG. As this figure shows, unlike the traditional blockchain data structure, which only allows a single longest chain, the DAG allows blocks to be appended in different multiple chains in parallel. Compared to the traditional blockchain, the DAG allows every block to verify other block. So it is flexible to achieve high throughput and is able to allow validation of small blocks. Furthermore, if we use a UTSO model similar to Bitcoin, then the underlying UTSO transactions are naturally interconnected as a DAG. The DAG has many advantages, but there are also some challenges that need to be addressed. The first challenge is that only partial ordering is available in DAG because new coming blocks are sent to the DAG in parallel. Also, each node will have its own local tango. Those local tango might be different because blocks are received asynchronously. This introduces a challenge to find a practicable as well as secure rule to confirm blocks in a short time. And we aim to provide the protocol with almost no proof of work and no fees, which makes the civil protection become even more challenging. To achieve civil protection in this protocol, each node has a score called weight as its voting power, and the weight is inherited to their issued blocks. So, blocks are a cast of a vote. In this way, we link the voting power with a node ID and the, and the block. Thanks to the DAG structure, we can easily propagate the weight backwards in time and make statements. For example, if you agree with the block, then you also agree with the parents of the block. We can implement a very efficient voting mechanism by calculating the approval weight. The approval weight is calculated by summing up the block issuer's weights in its future cone. And the block is confirmed once its approval weight reaches a confirmation threshold, which is 66% in our experiment. Next, by leveraging the approval weights, we introduce the untangled voting mechanism, which is called OTV. To make sure the untangled voting mechanism is robust, 
it will need to resolve the double spend problem. Here is an example of the double spend. Note that the double spend might be introduced by malicious reason or just some faulty reasons due to some use cases, for example the smart contracts. There should always be a unique winner for the double spend, as shown in the figure, because different nodes might have different local tangles. Some nodes see branches S first, some nodes see branch Y first, and some nodes see the two conflicting branches at the same time. They will choose the heaviest bench to attach their block. So, how to resolve the conflict by the OTV? In the OTV, the weight of a node is mapped to the block they issued. And the figure here has blocks with different sizes. The larger size represents the heavier approval weight. So, when a new block comes, it will randomly select the tips from the heaviest branch to attach. The process is called the virtual vote. When each node performs a virtual vote, if the node sees that branch Y is heavier, then it will attach to branch Y. And if the node sees that branch S is heavier, it will attach to branch S. This happens asynchronously in every node. Also, each node might change their opinion if the, hev if the heavier branch changes. For example, the original purple block is attached to branch Y, and for some reasons branch X becomes heavier, then the node will adopt its, its vote and attach its new issued block to branch X. Then, the conflict will be resolved, and the voting will keep going until a block gets enough approval weight and confirmed. So here comes the question. Will the untangled voting take a long time to confirm block? We ev first evaluate the OTV performance by considering only honest nodes. To evaluate the performance, we analyze the confirmation time of each block. The confirmation time is measured in the local tangles of all honest nodes and is defined as the time period between issuance and getting confirmed. This table shows the parameters we set in the experiments. Note that we assume the node weights follow a ZIF distribution. When the ZIF parameter equals zero, every node has the same weight. The larger ZIF parameter may, means that more centralized distribution, as shown in the two figures. Even when every node has the same weight, for a node count equals 100, the confirmation time is less than 2 seconds. When the S equals 0.9, which is a commonly seen stack distribution, the confirmation time is around only 3 seconds. So as you can see, the block confirmation time in OTV is only a few seconds. Next, let's consider the metastability. How the OTV breaks the metastability. And here we introduce the SRS, which is synchronized random reality selection which makes our protocol even more robust. In our experiments, we found it's difficult to create a metastability in our protocol. And the bait and switch attack is the one that can achieve this. In the bait and switch attack, the adversary will create more and more spending of the same output and let the honest node trust its opinion. If the block cannot accumulate sufficient approval weight, the finalization will never be achieved. In the experiments, we use 99 honest nodes with different ZIF parameters. 
and investigate how long the honest note can reach consensus under this attack. In addition to the OTV, here we introduce the SRS mechanism, which can build upon the OTV and make the protocol even more robust. The SRS stands for Synchronized Random Reality Selection. The blocks and the edges here represent their conflicting relationship. The blocks which don't share a common edge means that they are not conflicted. So our goal is to find the maximal independent set, where the confirmed blocks are not conflicted with each other. So when the SRS starts, we will first let the approved weight grow, for example 5 seconds. Then, the node will check if a branch reaches confirmation level. If yes, then the branch is confirmed and removed from the conflict set together with all conflicting blocks. In this example, the bigger block means it has heavier approval weight. So, the yellow one has the heaviest approval weight and it is confirmed. While these three white conflicts are not resolved yet, we then generate a random threshold x between 0.5 to 0.626, and let each node vote for the block with a minimum hash value. Then, the node will vote for the branches which form the maximal independent set. We repeat steps 1 to 5 until we resol resolve, resolve all the conflicts. Then, it's interesting to see how the robustness of the protocol under the bait and switch attack. To evaluate the robustness of the protocol, we measure the consensus time, which is a time period from a double spend happening to all the honest nodes reaching the same opinion, that is, reaching the same consensus. Note that the simulation time of the experiment is 60 seconds, that is, if all the honest nodes cannot reach the same consensus within 60 seconds, then we regard the conflicts cannot be resolved. As shown in the figures, when the adversary occupies less than 20% of the total weights, the OTV can resist the attack and reach consensus within a short time. And with the, with the SRS, the consensus time can be even shorter, and the consensus time is short even when the attacker occupies up to 33% of the total weights. Then, we investigate whether the confirmation, confirmation time of the non-conflicting blocks will be impacted under the attack. This figure shows the results. As you can see here, they are not impacted. Most of them can be confirmed within 1 to 2 seconds. In conclusion, in this paper, we give the first performance analysis results of the Tango 2.0 protocol. Based on the experimental results, 1 to 2 seconds confirmation time can, can be achieved in most cases when there are no conflicts. Also, under the bait and switch attack, even when the adversary node occupies up to 33% of the total weight, our protocol can still achieve a short consensus time within a few seconds. In addition, the confirmation time of most of the non-conflicting blocks is not affected even there are conflicts and there are adversary nodes. This concludes our work. Thank you for your listening.